Welcome to Creative Bath Lab, my happy creative place where I share my passion for DIY bath and body projects. Today's project is an oatmeal, milk, and honey bath soak. This soak is wonderful for skin and creates a soothing, nourishing, and relaxing milk bath. Baking soda and citric acid provide foaming action. Colloidal oatmeal is a cleanser, moisturizer, and one of the best all-natural anti-aging treatments. Milk keeps skin hydrated, soft, and moisturized. Kaolin clay cleanses, purifies, and detoxifies skin. Honey powder is a natural humectant that locks in moisture, giving a dewy complexion to skin. Raw honey is a natural source of nutrients, vitamins, and skin-boosting acids. I used a mixture of jojoba, argon, and vitamin E oil, which are all amazing for skin. This is a soft recipe, meaning you don't have to follow the recipe exactly. It'll work even if you change ingredients, adjust the amount, or even add additional ingredients to it. Tailor this recipe to suit your needs. I grated kokum and cocoa butter into the mix. You can melt the butter, but I find this method convenient easier to mix, plus I don't have to worry about the mix becoming overly wet. Salt is loaded with minerals and nutrients. It stimulates circulation, eliminates toxins, and promotes relaxation. Oats deliver minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants to the skin. I'm using a 6x8 inch tea bag to put the soak in for easy cleanup. Without the oats, the soak can be added directly to the tub. Don't fill the bag all the way. Leave some room at the top, especially if using citric acid. Infuse your bath water with nourishing ingredients that are great for skin. This milk bath is not only relaxing, it's also very beneficial. Like most great things in the world, this recipe was born out of necessity. About four days ago, I noticed a rash on the bottom of my left butt cheek. Two hours later, it had spread to my neck, chest, back, and arms. The next day, I was covered from head to toe. I don't ever get rashes, but I sympathize with those that do. The soap provides temporary relief from the itching and burning. I even took the leftover oatmeal afterwards and rubbed it on the spots that were the itchiest. And that actually seemed to be the most helpful. I enjoyed this soap very much. Even without the rash, I'll use it and love it. This is why you shouldn't overfill your bag. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now for more creative bath inspiration. Check out the description for the recipe, helpful tips, and the supply list at the bottom, 
Plus, my social media accounts are linked. You can connect with me anytime. Thank you.